Hi all, Stuart from Stubu Gaming, having a look at, uh, it's actually Rogue Trooper Redux, which I think is a, a remastered version, but it's from the Bargain Bin at Game in the UK, so I thought I'd do a quick uh, video for those who can't afford new AAA releases, have a look in the Bargain Bins and see what's available out there and whether I would recommend it for a cheaper price. So let's do a very quick overview. Um, the score, the the story, should I say, is a very um, lauded story. In effect, it's it's got BAFTA nomination. I'm not sure what category for. I, I'm not really sure um, when it was actually up for nomination. Um, but it's there on the box, so it must be true. Um, from the story that I've seen so far, and I haven't played that much, I'm not entirely certain what. Uh, what it was awarded for. Um, it's not bad, don't get me wrong, it's not bad at all, but it's definitely not um, currently what I would consider to be amazing. Um, graphically, you can probably see from the ga gameplay in the background that it's not going to win any awards for that, that's for sure. Um, it definitely looks like a reskinned older game, so I would say it's just had a HD makeover. This is probably uh, a very old game, in effect. Gameplay mechanics wise, well, the, the shooting, which the core game is all about, is actually very woolly. It doesn't feel precise um, at all. Now, that could be for a number of reasons. If it is a HD remaster, then it's going to be down to the fact that it wasn't ever supposed to be as precise as it now is. Um, don't get me wrong, the character models look perfectly fine. You know, there's no um, there's no jagged edges. You know, they they look fine. The environment just looks a bit too clinical. The uh, the sound then. So the sound is. I wouldn't say it's bad. It's not bad. Um, the voice acting's passable, and the the sound effects and everything else seem to do have quite a bit of depth. Um, it's uh, it's interesting. So let's listen for a bit. You okay? Other than being dead, you mean? Come on, let's go find some Nords. So as you can tell, it's it's passable again. I wouldn't say it's necessarily anything to write home about, but um, I mean, as I say, this this was uh, ten pound here in the UK at game, so it's definitely not what you consider to be high priced or even mid priced game. It's definitely bargain. So realistically, for the ten pounds, what do you get for your money? Well. It's it's a decent attempt at a third person shooter game. You know, that's it's not doing a bad job at that. It's not doing a brilliant job and there are better versions out there. You might even be able to find some of those in the uh in the bargain basement at this precise moment in time. So it, score wise, I'm going to say from what I've played so far I would give this probably a 3 out of 10. Now, some of you might think that's overly harsh, but when you're playing a first person shooter, the, the main thing that you're looking for is precise shooting, and unfortunately for me, this doesn't have that precision shooting. It seems to be a very cheaply made, low budget movie version of a video game. So, recommend it? Not really, unless there is absolutely nothing else for you to play at this precise moment in time. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope it's useful. I'm going to be doing some more of these, I think, um, just so uh, anyone out there who can't afford the AAA games does have something they can at least look forward to. So, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and I will see you for my next video shortly.